Hey guys, Crow Angel Gaming here. Uh, once again, back. And, uh, I have got my uh, little daughter with me, unfortunately, so excuse any background noise. Uh, as promised before, I was saying about doing a video that would show you the Helgen starter chest. What better way to show off that than actually doing it at Helgen? So, when you first download this mod you will need to do it for a fresh save. Uh, you can use it on uh, an open save but you'll have to go all the way back to Helgen just to get these items so if you're going to do a new save then the best way to do it is go right to Helgen. Right now once inside Complete, uh, complete the preliminary stuff as normal. We'll meet again in the rail off, brother. Or if you decide to go in the other door, which leads Looks through like there, you can the still do it. Who made it. These are the Helgen starter no chests. Just I was like on about, and I'll get to them once we're the inside. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take Gunnar's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Okay. Now that is done, I can show gear. you no all this. Unfortunately, Rail is going to keep jabbering on in the background. Uh, each and every single one of these boxes Gunyar contains all the, the equipment and stuff that you're going to need throughout also. the game. Some of the stuff that you uh, is very exclusive, it's stuff that you would get as quest that rewards. So is this is a very essential mod to oh, download if you it. want to start off with some really good stuff. Uh, start as an example. All the stuffs you might possibly need. I mean this is going to take a long time to go through every single one so I'm not going to stop on anything in particular. But if you slow the video down you will be able to see each of the items. Potions. Oh, everything from auto wines to food to black buyer mead to bread to cabbage to everything starts you off with at least one of them. Again, if you're gonna come here as well, just bear in mind if you do empty when it comes to the weaponry and stuff like that, if you do pick to take all you are going to be severely overcome but possibly to the point where the game might crash so sometimes it might be an idea to, to go and pick up uh, one of the carry weight uh, uh, the carry weight necklaces rings or anything like that just to enable you to be able to carry that little bit extra uh, again all different armors from dawn guard vampire armor you name it it's all in here a couple of swords as well different variation with different spell enchantments on as well crossbows stuff that you might not get until far later in the game I think I seem to remember later on oh yeah there's the ethereal crown as well which you'll get from the forbidden knowledge message uh, mission ethereal staff again a lot of these are usually quest rewards so this guy has actually gone and put all of these in here and I could go through every single one of these but uh, some of it I might just have to leave it to your own devices suffice to say though I recommend this mod 100% uh, it's got everything this is one of the ones I usually use for my uh, for, the, for, for my <coughs> A alternative character, the one that's based on how I look. Uh, this gives like a arrow type of t t type of outfit, even though it's not quite the uh, the color. But it's a sleeveless thieves guild armor, kind of similar to that, but with, with the arms cut off. And all the parts to that are in here as well. The uh, uh, slimways hood, gloves, and boots. Again. You can go through all this at your own leisure, but there is pretty much everything you're going to need in here. Nightingale armors as well. So, 
So if you're looking, uh, I mean, potentially as well, you could come here and pick up everything and then go and sell them all. I have no idea if this uh, chest is actually refilled or not, so uh, that's yet to be discovered. Different arrows and different types of ammunition. <laughs> you can hear my uh, daughter in the background. Uh, stand weapons. These are the traditional ones that you, you can pick up throughout the game. <laughs> my daughter wants to be a, a, a YouTuber as well, apparently. All the spell books, which you can download and it immediately activate, so you no longer have to search around all of the various different shops trying to find different spell tomes. And any of that duplicate you can sell. Go ahead and take it. Skill books again. These ones will add all your, uh, your uh, various stat points in, say, what picking and everything else. A standard chest here as well with even more Daedric armor, bone armor, you name it, all in there. Enchanted weapons. Enchanted armor. All dragonborn spell tomes. Again, another world. Dragonborn, Dragonborn weapons. We've got the Starrim weaponry in here as well. Maces, axes. Swords, you name it. Donyar isn't coming back from the dead. All Dragonborn Take armor again. Star and armor, into various different things depending on what you need. Nordic armor, star armor again. Uh, chitlin, chitin, even. Bone mold. So, as you can see, there is definitely plenty of stuff in here for you to uh, access. When you finally do get access to the other end of here as well, you can actually go through to the other starter area and they don't have everything that's here, but they do have a, a few other chests because this is like the, the uh, central hub, which both the uh, characters will actually head through. So yeah, this is the main area coming through with the Athenord and on the other side if you were to go with the Imperial they'd have some more of these uh, chests over there. Some of the things will actually duplicate like these spell books so you are not going to get double up on them you'll just end up having to actually sell uh, you just have to sell off uh, some of them. So anyway that again is the Helgen starter chest for the PlayStation 4. I'm going to quickly show you on the mods which one it is. So you've got a better idea if you're looking to download this one. Again, and for probably about the fourth or fifth time, I do 100% recommend this one if you're starting out a new gameplay and you don't want to be too overpowered but you want to have a specific look for your, for your character. Uh, the mod you're looking for is this one. It's the uh, Helgen Starters Chest PlayStation 4. It's a 10.87 kilobyte download, and there's a list here of everything. Uh, teleport spells will only work on the PlayStation 4 because it's on uh, scripts. Uh, take what you think is fair. If you want to kill everyone, take the good stuff. If you want some arrows, take the iron. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it gives you something to think about for whenever you're starting off a new save if you've been thinking about actually doing that uh, as it says in the description they're located on both Stormcloak and Imperial sides as well so whatever you do want to do with it I leave that up to you and don't forget don't try and take everything or you will probably crash your game okay so Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. My daughter says thank you very much as well. And uh, if, you, if you click the notifications, you'll get notified of whenever I upload anything to do with Skyrim, GTA, WWE 2K17. Those seem to be the main things I'm focusing on at the moment. Mostly GTA, this, and 
uh, WW2K17. Uh, so thank you very much. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the chat section below. Thank you very much.